Joining me now is Joe Mi. He's a senior research fellow at the Chinese Academy of International Trade and Economic Cooperation. Joe, thank you very much for your time. Now, people come from far and wide for CIFTIS. Why does this event draw so many people from outside of China? I think that uh, because China is uh, providing a very big opportunity. The opportunity exists here is not only for some kind of new things like for the innovation, but for huge potentials that we can find that uh, the delegates from all around China in different provinces, they just uh, go there to take part in that synthesis. Uh, so I think that will bring them more ideas about what Chinese people really want for consuming for different kind of services. That is a really big potential for there to come here. And there's a strong focus on tech and in the innovation, isn't there? What are the areas in which China is expanding most in these areas? Yeah, you can find that uh, this year is a very special year. The climate change has caused a lot of problems. So I think the most important thing for us to do is trying to change our development mode for, for a better, sustainable way. I, I believe that uh, a lot of Chinese enterprises, especially in the manufacturing series, they want to improve their abilities to service, to, to give some uh, services to all the people in the world. So the service will provide a better opportunity to support them to reach that. And on the other side, we know that Chinese people are trying to have a better life. So they need more education, more different kind of uh, entertainment, different kind of knowledge that will also bring a lot of opportunities. As you say, going green is an important focus of the fair, especially given the fact that China's just come out of a very strong heat wave and drought. What are some of the ways, some of the specific examples, the way in which trade is getting greener? Yeah, if we are trying to look at uh, the greener of the supply chain, we may have a lot of things to do. Like we will reduce uh, carbon uh, emissions in the producing of some products, while the logistic transportation and even for the storing Maybe sometimes we can replace some kind of uh, uh, very carbon intensive products with uh, greener ones, like the, the hydrogen, hydrogen and the different kind of resources with the solars. So the people's ideas of how can they consume will be still very mighty. So I believe that uh, we can try together collectively, not only with one country, we can cooperate to reduce the emissions and reduce the green, green gas uh, emissions to the, to the, to the environment. All right, Joe, thanks very much for your insight there. Joe Mee, Forrest Fellow at the Chinese Academy of International Trade and Economic Cooperation.